baptism is. Baptism is done for the forgiveness of sins, Acts 2.38. Baptism is done to save us, 1 Peter 3.21, Acts 2.40, Mark 16.16. 16. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not into your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. What recorded history, encyclopedias, and dictionaries say about the change of formulas in baptism from Jesus' name to the Father, Son and Holy Ghost? The Catholic Encyclopedia, page 263. The baptismal formula was changed from the name of Jesus Christ to the words Father, Son, and Holy Spirit by the Catholic Church in the second century. New Revised Standard Version says this about Matthew 28 and 19. Modern critics claim this formula is falsely ascribed to Jesus and that it represents later Catholic Church tradition, for nowhere in the Book of Acts or any other book of the Bible is baptism performed with the name of the Trinity. The Schaff and Hartzerg Encyclopedia of Religious Knowledge page 435 says this. Jesus, however, cannot have given his disciples this Trinitarian order of baptism after his resurrection, for the New Testament knows only one baptism in the name of Jesus. Acts 2 and 38, 8 and 16, 10 and 43, 19 and 5. Galatians 3 and 27, Romans 6 and 3, 1 Corinthians 1, 13 to 15, which still occurs even in the 2nd and 3rd centuries. While the Trinitarian formula occurs only in Matthew 28 and 19, and then only again in the Didache 7 and 1 and Justin, Apologetics 1 and 61. Finally, the distinctly liturgical character of the formula is strange, it was not the way of Jesus to make such formulas. The International Standard Bible Encyclopedia, Volume 4, page 2637, under the topic of baptism, says. Matthew 28 and 19 in particular only canonizes a later ecclesiastical situation, that its universalism is contrary to the facts of early Christian history and its Trinitarian Apocryphal Apostles' Creed. Matthew 28 and 19 was invented along with the Apocryphal Apostles' Creed to counter so-called heretics and Gnostics that baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Marcion, although somewhat mixed up in some of his doctrine, still baptized his converts the biblical way in the name of Jesus Christ. Matthew 28 and 19 is the first unbiblical Roman Catholic creed. The spurious Catholic text of Matthew 28 and 19 was invented to support the newer triune, Trinity doctrine. Therefore, Matthew 28 and 19 is not the Great Commission of Jesus Christ. It is the great Catholic hoax. Acts 2 and 38, Luke 24 and 47, and 1 Corinthians 6 and 11, give us the ancient original words and teaching of Yeshua or Jesus. Catholic Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, who was later the Pope, made this confession as to the origin of the chief Trinity text of Matthew 28 and 19 saying. The basic form of our Matthew 28 and 19 Trinitarian profession of faith took shape during the course of the 2nd and 3rd centuries in connection with the ceremony of baptism. So far as its place of origin is concerned, the text Matthew 28 and 19, it came from the city of Rome. The Trinity baptism did not originate from the original church that started in Jerusalem around the year 33. It was rather as the evidence proves a later invention of Roman Catholicism completely fabricated. Very few know about these historical facts. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, 
the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Baptism is done to wash away our sins, Acts 22:16. Baptism is done to be reborn to new life, John 3, 5, Romans 6, 3 through 6. Baptism is done to clothe ourselves with Christ, Galatians 3, 26 and 27. Baptism, then what? Baptism is a burial in water for accountable beings into the remission of sins, for salvation to get into Christ, to become a new creature, to get into the one body. Then, walk in the new life, study and grow, become a servant of righteousness, keep self pure, be an example, have faith in God, follow Jesus, put first things first, resist temptation, be faithful, and be fruitful.